When troubleshooting the overloads, you should take into consideration the ambient temperature at the starter and at the motor. If the ambient temperature at the starter is higher than the temperature at the motor, the heater should be selected with the next higher rating. If the ambient temperature at the controller is lower than the temperature at the motor, the heater should be selected with the next lower rating. These temperature considerations will help balance the heat created by an overload current so that the heater melts at the correct temperature, taking into consideration the effect of the ambient temperature. If an overload has occurred, you also need to inspect the starter's contacts with power off to check for possible contact welding. If there is welding due to the extreme current, you need to replace the contacts. To check voltage continuity from the contacts through the overloads to the terminals of the motor, you should place one side of the meter on L1 and the other to the load side of the overload L2. If there is voltage, the heaters are okay. For more PLC training, go to bid95.com and click on the electrical video library on the left-hand side.